Welcome to Jason on English. Let's look at listening. Practice four. How to practice listening. Most people practice listening the wrong way. They listen to one thing four or five or more times. This is not realistic. You do not have that many chances in real life. You cannot listen that many times to a movie, a presentation, or a conversation. It is not practice. You need a short listening passage that you can repeat. You need a script that you can check later. Listen once for keywords and main ideas. Listen again to confirm your ideas and add more information. Then read the script and check your ideas and any new words. Finally, read the script aloud. Ears, ears, eyes, mouth. That is the best pattern for listening practice. Practice one. Listen once and make note of any key words. What is the main idea? Are there any places, people, or times? What actions are happening? Please listen carefully. Hummingbirds are very colorful and beautiful. They are called hummingbirds because their wings make a humming noise when they fly. The wings move so quickly that you can barely see them. You can find hummingbirds in a lot of countries, but the most beautiful hummingbirds are in the West Indies and South America. Listen again and check your ideas. Did you change anything from the first time? Did you catch any more information? Can you repeat the story by yourself? Let's listen again. Hummingbirds are very colorful and beautiful. They are called hummingbirds because their wings make a humming noise when they fly. The wings move so quickly that you can barely see them. You can find hummingbirds in a lot of countries, but the most beautiful hummingbirds are in the West Indies and South America. Now read the story and check that you understand it. I'll give you some time to read it, but if you need more time, just pause the video. Finally, read the story aloud naturally. I'll read it first so you can hear my sound. The keywords are in blue. Hummingbirds are very colorful and beautiful. They are called hummingbirds because their wings make a humming noise when they fly. The wings move so quickly that you can barely see them. You can find hummingbirds in a lot of countries, but the most beautiful hummingbirds are in the West Indies and South America. Now you try reading it aloud. If you need more time, just pause the video until you finish reading and then continue to the next slide. Practice two. Listen once and make note of any key words. What is the main idea? Are there any places, people, or times? What actions are happening? Please listen carefully. Horses are mammals. 
which means that they have hair and warm blood and give birth to live babies. They do not lay eggs. The mother horse, called a mare, might have a baby in the spring. The baby horse is called a foal and gets milk from its mother. A young female horse is called a filly, and a young male horse is called a colt. Listen again and check your ideas. Did you change anything from the first time? Did you catch any more information? Can you repeat the story by yourself? Let's listen again. Horses are mammals, which means that they have hair and warm blood and give birth to live babies. They do not lay eggs. The mother horse, called a mare, might have a baby in the spring. The baby horse is called a foal and gets milk from its mother. A young female horse is called a filly, and a young male horse is called a colt. Now read the story and check that you understand it. If you need more time to finish reading it, just pause the video. The keywords are in blue. Finally, read the story aloud naturally. I'll read it first. You can check my sound. Horses are mammals, which means that they have hair and warm blood and give birth to live babies. They do not lay eggs. The mother horse, called a mare, might have a baby in the spring. The baby horse is called a foal and gets milk from its mother. A young female horse is called a filly, and a young male horse is called a colt. Now you try reading it aloud. If you need to, just pause the video. When you're ready, you can continue to the next slide. Practice 3. Listen once and make note of any key words. What is the main idea? Are there any places, people, or times? What actions are happening? Listen carefully. Jason Land is a small city with around 25,000 people. Most people live in the north part of Jason Land. It is a nice place to live with a lot of parks and schools for children. People have to drive or take the train to work in the south part of Jason Land. The south part has a lot of shops, offices, and factories. The center of Jason Land has Jason Stadium, where people can watch lots of different events. Listen again and check your ideas. Did you change anything from the first time? Did you catch any more information? Can you repeat the story by yourself? Let's listen again. Jason Land is a small city with around 25,000 people. Most people live in the north part of Jason Land. It is a nice place to live with a lot of parks and schools for children. People have to drive or take the train to work in the south part of Jason Land. The south part has a lot of shops, offices, and factories. The center of Jason Land has Jason Stadium, where people can watch lots of different events. Next, read the story and check that you understand it. If you need more time to finish reading it, just pause the video.
Finally, read the story aloud naturally. I'll read it first. The key words are in blue. And remember, when you practice listening, ears, ears, eyes, mouth. Listen once, listen twice, then stop listening. Read it. Check that you understand it. Finally, use your mouth. Read it aloud. Your mouth can train your ears. After you finish those three steps, ears, ears, eyes, mouth, you can do whatever you like. You can listen again. You can listen and repeat each sentence. You can try to read it faster than the original voice. There are lots of things you can do after you practice. But for practice, ears, ears, eyes, mouth. Now listen to me. Jasonland is a small city with around 25,000 people. Most people live in the north part of Jasonland. It is a nice place to live with a lot of parks and schools for children. People have to drive or take the train to work in the south part of Jasonland. The south part has a lot of shops, offices, and factories. The center of Jasonland has Jason Stadium, where people can watch lots of different events. If you like, please watch this video again and continue practicing your listening. Thank you for watching.